Hi guys, um, as many of you are focusing on your website right now and working with Dex, uh, we noticed that some of you haven't tried it yet. Perhaps um, you are unfamiliar with how it looks and how it works, or you need a step-by-step -step tutorial to learn more about the features, and the, um, the possibilities, and all the um, design uh, opportunities that are available with Flex. Um, and this is why we decided to to run a quick five day challenge uh, that will not take you more than fifteen or twenty minutes per day. It can take you more that you if you get creative. Uh, and we will learn together uh, how Flex works, um, so that you can create simple or more complicated or more complex layouts um, that you may have been missing with your current theme. We selected uh, five blocks and each day we will be creating a block from scratch um, so that you then can recreate it inside your website anyone can join if you can join if you use a flex theme or a classic theme with the with the flex block plugin uh, installed um, let's start in today's challenge we'll be building a classic F classic faq block uh, as inspiration, we are using the FAQ block available inside uh, our lovely theme. Um, hence, if you don't have lovely or if you do and have access to this block, uh, you can still follow our tutorial and replicate it. Uh, as we'll be highlighting various uh, flex block functionality, um, various keyboard shortcuts, and many uh, options you may have missed while reading uh, the docs. Um, let's dive in. I'll go back to my uh, page layout and I will add um, a flex block. I will open the builder and I will start with enabling my theme page edges and screen center. Uh, the page edges, um, this, these are uh, page edges and this is uh, an option uh, that shows you the page width of your theme. It means that most of your blocks will not be wider than this but if you want to you can you can make it uh, you can make the block wider than the, your page edges. Um, we will continue with adding a text element for our block title. So a click on the element selects it and this allows you to move it around and to uh, adjust the width. Uh, double click on the element opens the element settings and you can adjust the text itself meaning you can change the font, the font size I will continue with adding two more text elements. Here is your question and text for the answer. Uh, I will use um, filler text or you can go ahead and use your real answer. For fonts, um, for fonts we recommend to uh, stick to your theme fonts to keep the block styling aligned with the rest of your website. I'm using the same fonts we use for our lovely theme, uh, but you can find yours in Flow Theme uh, Style section. So here you can see uh, the font names and the font sizes uh, that are that you use across your website for your um, head, for headings and for your uh, paragraph. So I'm gonna make this Libre, then this is correct. 16 for the size and 1.8 M for line height. Uh, OK. 
okay. There is an easy way uh, of um, grouping these two elements and duplicating them uh, and this way uh, creating the FAQ block easier than to just have, uh, than to uh, add more uh, text elements for the other questions. Uh, and this is done uh, by grouping these two elements and duplicating them. To do this you can uh, hold on to the shift key and okay so hold on to the shift key click on the first element and then the second and then uh, by using the command C you will duplicate it duplicate it then there is an alternative option option uh, and this is by using layers so click on the first text element and hold command and then select the second element and click this icon here to create the group. So uh, the same process, click on the, the text element here while holding on command and clicking the second element, um, grouping them and duplicate, duplicating them. So you can either duplicate by using this icon here or by uh, using command C. We will now go ahead and save our block. And uh, I got a warning saying that no, mo no mobile elements were found. As this is a flex block that we are building from scratch. Uh, the mobile layout here is empty and has to be built manually, but this is done very easy. So you just have to click on the elements or you can drag them to your mobile layout. Mm. By default, the um, all the element properties for your mobile layout I inherited from uh, its desktop matching element but you can uh, customize it for example you want to make you want to cut this text on mobile layout only so for this you would need to disable the desktop sync for this element and then you can go ahead and cut your text and this will only be saved on your mobile layout. Uh, um, we will also select these two elements and then use this alignment option to align them on the left. And we'll go and we'll switch to the desktop um, layout and say the block. We'll, we will now refresh the page and you can see that, well you can actually, you can't see uh, this um, top um, answers here and this is because our block height uh, is 750 and we need to increase it to 900 as an example, it's not, I, I put 900. Um, there is one more, one good thing to know uh, about groups is that you can actually uh, group these three groups in uh, um, a gen in a different group. Uh, so basically, uh, same process of grouping. So it's actually easier if you if to um, rename groups. So this would be Q3, Q2, Q1.
And now by um, selecting and all these groups while uh, holding on command, we are going to group them into um, a general, into a different, into a, like a nesting group. Um, and this allows us to um, use the alignment, um, the alignment functionality. Uh, so, so how does this work? Now that this um, alignment works uh, in two ways, uh, for the whole group and for the elements within the group. So uh, when the group is in focus with the, as it is right now with this uh, blue frame, uh, you can use align buttons and the group will work as one element and will be aligned across the whole screen area. For example, like this. Um, but if we, uh, if you want to align the elements within this group, so these three blocks that are nested um, inside this uh, main group, we will have to select uh, all uh, the elements, and this is done by using a shift command and click on each element. Now we can align the elements within the, the group. I will go ahead and I uh, will um, enable this just because I want to add one line. I will then change the color of the line and line height you can um, display the rotate bar to align the to align it vertically but you can also use the I'll go, I'll go back and I will use the angle and I will make it 90. So it's uh, either you're using the rotate bar or you uh, adjusting the angle here. I'm going to save the block now. By the way, you can enable the grid to make sure that all the elements are properly aligned. Um, and now I can, I'm going to save it. One more thing before saving, actually, uh, you can uh, enable the screenshot on save. And you can also rename your block here uh, by enabling the screenshot on save and by saving the block you are going to uh, be able to preview it here in the layout editor in your page editor um, we will refresh the page and here is our testimony FAQ block sorry um, we can adjust this FAQ block by adding uh, an image element. You can keep the, the line or you can remove it. By the way, you can, uh, by using command A, you can select all elements at once. So 
save. And here is um, a different version of when the FAQ block. This is it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope it was helpful. Do show us what you create during uh, your challenge today. It can be something similar to these two blocks or something more unique aligned to your current website design. Let us know if you have any questions, if anything was not fully clear and we'll try to clarify it. Um, thank you and see you tomorrow.